welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in today for subscribing for commenting for liking for all your support thank you so much and if it's your first time welcome to the channel my name is Daphne please make sure that you subscribe if you're not subscribed and also click the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on the videos so welcome again to the channel I'm so excited it's been a long time it's been a long it feels like it's been months <laughs> I think because I'm always here every week so it feels like such a long time to those who view the channel regularly um, I miss you so much and thank you so much for all the congratulations all the sweet kind words all your prayers all your blessings concerning the pregnancy um, announcement we are so excited for baby Avia to come and it's such a blessing so thank you so much for all the kind words so I know I mentioned that I'll be away for two weeks but I just needed to have another week just to prepare so I'm back again and today I just wanted to share what the Lord has been speaking to me in the time being and I know that we we are in the month of October and we have November and we have December but the Lord was just saying we need to prepare we need to prepare prepare for the next coming year prepare for 2022 now when the Lord says prepare it means there's something that is taking place there's something that he wants to do and I believe we need to prepare ourselves to understand the mind of God so that there's no confusion you see when there's a lot of information and a lot of activity taking place it can bring confusion if you don't understand what God is doing we are coming to a time when we'll see a lot of churches closed down we are coming to a time where we'll see there's a lot of uh, issues in the finances the financial markets and regulations and laws a lot of changes so it's important to understand the mind of God we're already seeing the birthing of those things uh, within the last two years but as we go into 2022 we need to understand the mind of God is very important and that comes through the secret place that comes through those that seek his face that comes through those that spend time in his presence the Bible is telling us in Joshua chapter 3 verse 5 it says and Joshua said to the people sanctify yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you now in this new covenant we don't sanctify ourselves because we've been sanctified through Jesus Christ so the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus the work the finished work of the cross has sanctified us so we don't sanctify ourselves anymore because that work has been done we were saved not of works but by grace but what we do in this covenant is we are edified constantly edified and our minds are being renewed by the water of the word the word of God we are being edified through prayer through the power of the Holy Spirit he edifies us and the author and perfecter of our faith is constantly perfecting us in our faith so as we go into 2022 we need to become edified in our mindsets edified in our understanding edified in our in our relationship with Jesus Christ and this is through prayer God is calling us into a time of prayer I don't know if you can sense this in your spirit some of you can sense this in your spirit you're sensing that I just need to be away from social media I just need to spend more time with God I just need to spend more time in prayer even the things that you used to watch on TV there's no more desire could it be that the Spirit of God is drawing you closer to the Father could it be that there's a drawing in your heart a drawing to seek his face the things that you used to enjoy doing the, th the places you used to enjoy going you don't have that desire anymore could it be that the Spirit of God is calling you to another level of understanding the heart of the Father God is calling us to a place of knowing the heart of the Father as we go into 2022 this is not a time where you fast and you pray a day before 2022 you don't fast and pray on the 31st of December to prepare for what is to come but you spend the time that you have now preparing for what is to come God has desires God has things he wants to do God has a language that he wants to speak. He has a work that he wants to do. The Lord is calling his bride into a place of intimacy. Can you sense it in the spirit? Can you sense that I need to prepare not just for his coming, but for what he wants to do in this last minute or last hour that is left, child of God. It's a time to prepare for 2022. So we want to pray today. We want to ask God to help us to prepare. The Spirit of God is already calling some of you. You know that there's something missing. You find that you're not enjoying your life. You seem like you're bored. Could it be 
that the, there's a fulfilling? Could it be that there's an injection in the spiritual realm that you need to take? Could it be that there's a download that is waiting with your name on it in the spiritual realm that you need to take in? Could it be that all this boredom and all this loneliness that you're suddenly feeling, it's actually a call to seek, to seek and to find him to seek and to find him concerning what he wants to do and what he's doing and what his desire is. The desires of the Father. Gone are those days where we do church as normal. Gone are those days where we wait for Sunday service. Gone are those days where people wait for Bible study. Gone are those days the Father is seeking those that can worship him. The Father is seeking to pour out his heart to pour out his heart to his people, to understand and to walk side by side with the Lord Jesus Christ as true ambassadors of his kingdom. This is a side by side working. He wants to work with the body. He wants to work with each and every one of us, despite where we come from, despite our experiences in life. There's a discipline that he's trying to teach us in the secret place, a humility that he's trying to teach us in the secret place, an identity that he wants to reveal in the secret place. So we need to prepare ourselves through prayer. Prayer. It's a call for prayer. It's a call for prayer. The Lord wants to do great wonders, great wonders among us. So we want to pray that God, I'm willing, I'm willing to spend time, to sacrifice time. You see, some people get turned off by these things because they feel like they have to pray six hours a day. You don't need to pray six hours a day unless that is what the Spirit of God is calling you to do. And He empowers you for that. It's grace, not by your power, not by your might, but by the Spirit of God. He calls you and you begin to go into the deep secrets and the deep realms of prayer. And you begin to find yourself that you're spending five, six hours, but it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. So don't compare yourself with your prayer life with prophet so-and-so and, -so and uh, apostle so-and-so and, -so and evangelist so-and-so. You're not them. You're you. Use what you have. Use what you can. Use what God has put inside of you. If it means it's an hour a day, an hour, it's an hour a day, it's 30 minutes a day, the consistency and the obedience to be consistent is what is important the consistency in his presence until something shakes, until something opens up, until there's a revealing of his storehouses of wisdom, storehouses of knowledge and understanding, until something begins to pour out through your life of obedience, your life of humility, your life of sacrifice. So today we want to pray. Let us pray. Father, we bless you. Oh God, what an honor, what a privilege, Father, to come before your presence once more, Lord. What an honor to be called your children. What an honor to be called your ambassadors, the ambassadors of Christ. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you. You're not a respecter of persons. In this age, in this hour, you are using children men, women, oh God, those who are rejected, those who are called nothing, those who have been spit out by society, by families, by churches. Oh God, Father, we thank you. We thank you, oh God. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing at such a time as this. Oh God, what a crucial time when the sun your only begotten son is coming. Oh God, what a crucial time when we are meeting him in the clouds very soon. Oh, what a time to be alive. Oh God. And so you are great. You are doing great wonders in this earth. Great wonders among your people. Great wonders in this world. Great wonders through your church. Oh God, we don't want to miss out in these wonders that you are wanting to do. Lord, I pray. You're already calling some of your people to go into prayer. Lord, I pray for grace, 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 ability, grace and ability, a willingness of the heart to seek your face. Oh God, I pray that you remove in the name of Jesus. Let every spirit of laziness, every spirit of averageness in the name of Jesus be completely consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Let your people arise, arise, arise in the spirit, arise, arise in your mind, arise, arise to a time of prayer in the name of Jesus, a time to seek the heart of the Father. Oh God, thank you for calling your people into this realm 
into this place, into this secret place to spend time with you, not to become rich, not to create a name for themselves, but to know your heart, oh God. For that is your desire, that they may know you and the power of the resurrection of the King of Kings, the power of the resurrection of the Lord of Lords. Father, I pray for your people as they seek your face. Let them see that you are real. Your presence is real. Your name is real. Your majesty is real. Your power is real. Let them experience it at a personal level. Lord, I pray. And in the name of Jesus, we cancel every spirit, every counterfeit spirit, everything that wants to counterfeit the presence of God and the name of God and the things of the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus, we completely dispel it, completely cancel it. In the name of Jesus, there will be no confusion in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, reveal yourself to your people. Reveal your heart to your people. Reveal your thoughts to your people, oh God. Father, this we pray in the name of Jesus, for these things are revealed in the privacy of your presence. Lord, help them to drink the sweetness of your presence, to desire the sweetness and the sweet fragrance of your presence more than anything. Oh God, let that desire begin to grow in their hearts today. In the name of Jesus, a hunger a desire for the presence of God. Yes, let it be birthed in your heart today. In the name of Jesus, like a seed, let it begin to grow as you seek the face of the Father. In the name of Jesus, for there is nothing sweeter than the presence of the King of Kings. There is nothing sweeter than the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus, this we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, help them to not be afraid, not to be fearful as they enter the new year, not to be worried about the things that are not yet fulfilled, oh God. As they seek your face, oh God, I thank you that they will understand all things. They will understand concerning the things that they desire, concerning the past, the present, and the future. In the name of Jesus, I thank you that you will not deny them that understanding and that knowledge. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen and amen. So that was the message. It's time to prepare for 2022. Amen. God bless you as you discover the things that he has freely given you. As you discover his heart, you're going to experience him in a way that you've never experienced him before. And your life is going to change from this very moment. As you walk up that mountain of prayer and as you spend time in the secret place, your life will never be the same again. I promise you. So God bless you and I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care. Bye.